Welcome back. So as we start testing, we get more and more tests in here. Look at this. It starts to be kind of a big pile of tests and that's not a problem, uh, but we can actually make it easier to read and to categorize our tests. And I just want to show you guys how easy it is to kind of do nested test descriptions inside our code right here. So let's just say that the first tests I have right here, the first three tests, they are mainly about just figuring out just some simple HTML right here, simple HTML. So that's just some, some simple HTML tests. And as we get down here, we'll start talking about some more complex, uh, this is actually also just, let's keep that one as well. But here we are talking about navigation. So here we have some navigation tests. And, and if I wanna categorize this to kind of get an overview about these tests belong to this area and these tests belong to this area, it's, it's very, very simple to do. So let me try and show you because you can actually, the describe you have all the way up in the top, you can actually reuse that to just start nesting your test. So let's try and do it right here. So I'll make another describe right here, describe. And in there, I'll start by defining what this is. And right now, let's just call these the symbol HTML like this. And then all I have to do is pretty much just make a comma and do a symbol expression right here. A good old fat arrow notation. And there we go. Now in this area now, you'll get a, a nested test set right here. So let's just try and cut this and paste it into this new area. I'll save it and what you'll see is actually that now my tests are being nested in a level. So let's just try and check this out. Notice now it says simple HTML test under the product list test and there we have all my tests belonging to this area right here. So again, it's up to you, but I feel it's a very simple way to work with our tests. And also when you're working with my current setup inside um, WebStorm, pretty much the same idea probably with Visual Studio Code or whatever you're using, you can now start hiding the tests in areas like this. So you know this is the simple HTML area and you can just show hide that area. And let's just do another describe right here for the navigation part. Describe, again, I'll give it a description. I'll just call it navigation for now. It, it's The name isn't that important right now, that's up to you. And there we'll put in all these navigation tests. Right now I only have two of them, so I'll just cut these two and I'll paste them in here, I'll save this, and let's just put an end semicolon there, and let's just try and check this out. Now you'll see the navigation have also been moved in. And I actually wanna move the navigation to the bottom of, the, of my test, so let's just cut this, so I'll just hide it like that, I'll cut it, and I'll just move it all the way down to the bottom down here of the page, there we go. It's just because I'm going to do some things with navigation later, so I wanna kinda of put it down here for now. There we go, look how easy that was just to move it now because I know that's all the navigation tests. And again, you'll notice it just pops up down here in the bottom instead. So let's just try and go back and do it for this, the same thing for our different product tests. Now again, I could decide to just do an, a simple describe that just describes these are all the product tests. But I'm actually going to be a bit more specific. I'm going to say uh, list products like this. That's going to be the, the list product tests. So all the tests about uh, my actual get products, that's what's going to be in here. And then I'm going to make one for the delete products. So we should show one ordered. We should get product, get products, get products, get products, get products, get products, get products. And when do we start deleting? Uh, delete, delete. There we go. I think these are the ones that belong to the get and then the other ones are going to be for the delete. So I'll just paste those in here. There we go, and just hide this guy, and then I'll just make a, the final describe right here, and that'll be for the delete. Delete products, because I'm going to add a few more of those in the next couple of videos. So again, it makes it a lot easier in my mind to start reading this now, since we have these describe. So let's just get these two in here as well. Boom. There we go, I'll just do a semicolon, and again, look how simple this is to read now. And again, my point is, if you as a developer now want to work at a specific area, look at how simple the code actually is now, right? It's so easy to kind of get around your code and know where to look for your different tests. And even out here, you'll see the describe is now also easier because the simple nested test is a lot easier to read. So that was just a simple point. You guys can do it or you can just skip it if you don't want to do it. But I feel it's a lot easier for me to now work with my tests and we're actually going to make it even easier in the next couple of lessons. So see you next time. Have fun.